Today we're going to talk about how to price a rock or a gemstone. Either one is measured in weight. So if I was measuring a rock, maybe I would do it in pounds. If it was like a really high-end piece of rough, you would do it in ounces or grams. Gemstones are primarily measured in carats. If they start getting to be too big, you can go into grams. You don't want to be like thousands and thousands of carats. I have tried to buy a topaz with thousands and thousands of carats and yeah, it was measured in grams. So don't get confused by like carats versus grams versus ounces. What you need to understand is how much is my rock worth? You need to find that out first say, okay, what's the high and the low end of it? That will help you. Go on eBay and look for a rock that's similar to yours and then go, okay, this rock is a little bit better than the one that I got. Admit it to yourself and then look at another one and be like, this one's not as good as the one that I got. And then you look at the prices. The guy that's trying to sell the one that's not as good he's going to try to get a higher price and the guy that's got a real high-end one he's going to try to get a lower price both of them are trying to make a deal they're just trying to make money it's just a trick money is always a trick that's why i don't use it that much i only do trades but if you were going to throw down hard-earned money towards a rock you have to price it by carat by pound by ounce and actually weigh out the rock that you're going to buy if you're going to buy a whole bunch of rocks Weigh it, each and every rock out, write it down on a paper, calculate the price per carat per pound, per ounce. And once you have that number, you can make the number general in the beginning, okay? It has to be pretty much. You go, okay, this guy's selling it for the low end, this guy's selling it for the high end. So you got your price per carat based on that. The, the middle, you say, okay, I'm just going to calculate a general price, not a price like gouging my customer, or gouging myself. Generally, what is this worth? So you have that number. And then when you meet up with the guy, you're going to have to slash that pretty much in half. If I was a rock dealer, if I had to t buy your rock and then sell it, I would only pay you half the price that it's worth based on the fact that I have to pay for my rent and I have to market it and I have to stand next to these rocks for the rest of my life. And it sucks. So, yeah, you're only going to get about half the price out of me if I was going to sell your rocks. I'm not a rock dealer, but that's about where people will meet you halfway. Halfway. <laughs> so if you wanted to, like, try to say, oh, my rock is worth tons of money. Yeah, if you sold it yourself and you found a buyer, then, yeah, it is worth that. If you're buying it, <laughs> you know, it all goes into how good are you at, at, at haggling, you know, and be like, you know, we're friends, and <laughs> start getting into all that. People will haggle in multiple ways. That confuses people, too. Like, as a dealer, you have to treat every single person different because some people gouge at you and some people are nice to you. Nice people, you're not going to, like, be, like, real mean to them, so you have to give them deals sometimes. Gougers, you can't let them gouge at you all the time, either. So, being a rock dealer probably sucks. I don't know. I'm not a rock dealer. But I know how you do it. You get a piece of paper and you write down its price. You add it up and you give people half the price. 